Hey guys, what's going on? This is Into Ukraines, and I got another video for you guys. Uh, I feel I feel like an idiot because I just recorded. Uh, let's see, I recorded like a 15-minute video, and for one, I didn't have my mic plugged in. And but what's what's worse than that is that I didn't have the record external uh, 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 record an external input option on fraps I was doing uh, a couple of videos that I put up on Facebook and I had music in the background and all that stuff so I'm, I'm pretty much gonna just repeat myself uh, what I did before but anyway uh, so a few nights ago, I I started working on my uh, minecart station, which uh, you should remember from uh, me talking about my in my last video. Uh, so I, I recorded, uh, I recorded it, and it was really boring. Uh, I was talking all monotone and stuff like that because I. Uh, <clears throat> I, I was recording it at like 1 o'clock in the morning, so I was like super freaking tired. So I decided to scrap it. I recorded that last video, but there's no audio. So here I am again. <laughs> so I got quite a bit done. So let's just go down and uh, go through it. So here we are. We're uh, in my room. Uh, my mic cart station whatever uh, so we have this is the button to call a cart this is the one to activate the piston we have in this room we have uh, a main track that switches from right which goes to three destinations and then if you flip it down the track goes to the left which has three more destinations I'll explain that a little bit more uh, uh, later uh, here's my panel uh, with my destination panel. Uh, so I see with the torch on, this is the first destination, second destination, third destination. Uh, I'll jump down and show you guys the wiring here in a second. So we have the little loader thingamajig for the carts and uh, let's call a cart. Takes a second, but here we are. See, it's set on the third des. <coughs> excuse me. Set on the third destination. So we get in. We go up, and it skips the two, and then we go to the third one. Now, I set this thing up. When we're coming back. We go off to the right, the left, left, and then it's set to a timer and then it sends the cart on its way so the timer set up to where I'm still in the cart because we're gonna be coming back from wherever this destination is and then I'll, I'll stop here I'll have enough time to get out and then when I get out it'll send itself off so uh, just to show you how the destination selector works let's go to the first destination Oh, that's not the cart calling button. Let's call another cart. Let's go see it's on our first destination, so it goes to the first one. And then the arrival works the same way. It works the same way from wherever you are. And goes off. But we're just gonna be going we're just gonna be going at full speed, or not full speed, just a, a way faster pace and then whatnot okay so there's that uh, I talked about the arrival um, the cart thing which works from wherever see like when we're, when we're going straight it it just keeps on going and when we're going back it's forced to go left which is pretty cool the lava wall 
which looks kind of neat. And let's come down here. This is the timing thing. The detector rails right here activates the redstone, and then I have all the repeaters going, and then to an inverter, which turns on the track, and then it sends it off. So we got that. We have, uh, let's see, let's light this up. I had a skeleton attack me a second ago. Uh, where do we, where should we start? Okay. So these are the three tracks that I have set up right now. And this is the thing that makes it work. Now, I haven't, I haven't looked up uh, any tutorials really. I've, I've been going around on YouTube looking at uh, different things and and uh, trying to replicate certain things and try to figure it out kinda on my own really uh, I, I watched a few videos and then I just played with it until it, it worked so there's that here's the torches that activate the tracks and uh, my plan for uh, with you know, I had the the line for the for the levers right here. That I'll switch the track going this way. Now my plan is to run the line from each destination switch into its corresponding uh, blocks or, or corresponding tracks on this side. So if I want to go to any destinations that I'll have set up over here then I'll just flip that switch and I can still use the same panel. It'll activate these at the same time but it won't matter because the track is going, is di diverting this way. So I haven't tried it yet because I don't even have one destination yet so I'll hook that up when uh, that time comes when if I even need six destinations. I know what I want one of these destinations to be. I want it to be uh, just a uh, a quick way to get to uh, a maintenance area I'm going to dig out for my pipe room. So we uh, that's my plan for that. Here's the the guts of the the panel. Uh, we have the timing for the arrival. I think there's one more thing I need to show you, and I'm going to call it good for this video. We're going to take a look at the Pez dispenser stuff. Here's the the uh, vertical wire for uh, that that had the glowstone block down below. Goes into Minecraft Addicts Pulse uh, Rapid Pulser. Hooked up to the track. You know nothing new here. Uh, here's the the track for uh, for when it gets set up on the soul sand here's the loader that goes up and turns around here and here's the arrival track that goes up goes around and it's hooked up to this turn track which shoves it back in here okay guys so we have we have covered everything, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I think that's all I want to talk about in this video. Uh, different things I'm going to be working on. I'm going to... The first destination here, I'm going to have... I'm going to have that digged out, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find this spot for me to start on my next project. Uh... I don't, I'm not sure if I talked about it or not, but uh, <coughs> I, I want to... <coughs> Man, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to have uh, a place set up to start building, like, uh, kind of like my manor, or just like my mansion, or something like that. Like, somewhere pretty fancy. 
Ah, uh, you know what? I have pigs stuck in my chicken coop. That's annoying. I, I, I think I need to fix that. I, I know how to fix it. Pigs are, are like the only problem I have with my passive mob system. Which is really annoying. Because they're supposed to go down here. But we get pigs stuck here. And we get the pigs stuck in my chicken coop. Yeah, so anyway. Uh... I'm gonna find another spot for my next project. I'm going to pick out another spot for, uh, or I'm gonna dig out a spot for um, more farm area. I think the only farm I'm missing now is a mushroom farm, which I want to build because that'll come in handy. Uh, I want to build a piston elevator. Either, uh, either here or there or on both sides so I have another way to the top uh, because I want a cooler way to, to get up than just climbing up a ladder so uh, those are a few things that I want to do I'll probably cover them in my or maybe a couple of them in my, ne in my next video uh, I think I want to build uh, Ethos uh, piston elevator uh, I don't want to take the time to make my own. So there we go. That's it. Uh, I'll see you guys later.